I'm just going to invite uh, Ian and Martin to say a, a final word of, of summing up. Uh, firstly, Ian. Well, I think we're standing at the edge of time, actually. This is the, one of the most exciting moments in my life in Norfolk. Believe me, I'm not kidding. That something new is going to happen, that new people are being involved, not because they've been chosen by party discipline or by, by party roots or party friendships, but because they really care about the people that they want to represent. And that's what I feel very heartened about, that this is something quite new in Norfolk. All my life I've spent, my, I've spent most of my life with party hacks who do as they're told, who have their speeches written for them and so on, and who have very few ideas of their own and uh, oppose anything novel and new and innovative that comes along. I think, as I say, the country's groaning under the current regime. It's time to make things different. And this could be the start of something quite big. It may seem small, it's not a meeting of 500,000 people, but who knows? Remember the Arab Spring started in a funny kind of way too. Who knows, if we can get the younger generation interested in our kind of politics and our beliefs, then anything can happen. Thank you very much. And Martin Bell. I rather like the idea of a Norfolk Spring. <laughs> it's been rather long delayed this year. Uh, and thank you all for coming, and I wish you every success. And I think we can, I want to refer to my former profession, I'm sure that Art Chant and its many manifestations will be fair towards the non-party and minor party candidates. And as for my former...